Pet Halloween Costumes Do's and Don'ts Tips for Dressing Up Pets Pets rarely appear in paintings, photographs or other illustrations wearing much apart from a collar in the 19th and 20th centuries. But fast forward to the 21st century, and there is plenty of attire for pets, that includes disguises to wear at parties and parades, especially at this time of year. Fido can become a superhero and kitty a ballerina in a tutu. The donning of pet costumes increasingly appeals to pet owners and spectators alike and has spread widely through social media. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. According to one online source, Canine Journal, nearly half a billion dollars is spent in the U.S each year on Halloween costumes for pets, and 20% of owners plan to dress their pets up in 2021, up from 18% in 2020 and 17% in 2019. The Ontario County Historical Society, Oaks, is sponsoring a pet costume contest during its free Halloween open house, from 5 to 8 p.m. Sunday, October 31. There will be treats for the four-legged attendees and candy for their human companions. If people want to bring animals other than dogs and cats, they are more than welcome, said Cody Grabhorn, executive director of the Historical Society. We will have three categories for winners, best homemade costume, best historic costume, and scariest cutest costume. We will be taking pictures and announcing winners the following week. The photo opportunity will allow people to just pop in for a photo and then leave. While at the Historical Society, visitors will an opportunity to see the family-oriented exhibit, Our Family Companions, The History of Pets in Ontario County. People in Ontario County appear to have had pets of some kind since early settlement, said Wilma Townsend, society curator responsible for the year-long exhibit on view until April 2022. During times of difficulty and, in the case of isolation due to COVID-19, our pets are important to us as companions, creatures that need our care and devotion, and are a source of unconditional love. To make a costume for your pet, plenty of support is available. Stores such as Joann's in Roseland Plaza offer everything needed, from fabrics and notions to patterns. They also sell ready-made costumes for children and pets. Local thrift and consignment stores may have second-hand costumes. According to Linda Vaughn at Lily's on South Main Street, there are sometimes costumes in its pet section. And you may not always need to add much to your pet to transform its appearance. In 2010, Bloomfield High School's Student Council held a pet costume competition to raise money for Honor Flight, the program that makes it possible for World War II and Korean War veterans to visit the memorials in Washington, D.C. Dues for pet Halloween costumes. Choose a costume based on what makes your pet comfortable. Pick a costume that fits your pet well. Keep your pet leashed while in costume. Try out your pet's costume before the big day. Dance for pet Halloween costumes. Don't take your pet trick or treating. Don't take off collars and ID tags. Don't leave your pets unattended in costume. Don't pick a costume with lots of buttons, loose parts, and embellishments. For more details, contact Erica Murphy, Adoption Coordinator at Happy Tales Animal Shelter, the Humane Society of Ontario County, at 585-396-4590. Where to go? The annual Fall into Canandaigua event is another opportunity for your favorite pet to get dressed up. The event, which runs from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, October. 30th, includes a free pet parade and costume contest at Commons Park at 1.30 p.m., following the kids' parade and costume contest, which starts at noon. Pet owners must register at Commons Park in advance, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., animals must be leashed. Prizes will be given to the winners.